going on everybody welcome back to another video welcome to building a zoo and if you'll notice right in the background oh yeah we got redwood up in here look at that looks freaking awesome uh, basically I just traveled to this back to this little forest I'll show you guys this later in the video but um, I literally chopped a single one of these trees down and I got like two stacks of logs it was crazy and I replaced all the oak because I, I just didn't like the oak very much it's too vanilla for me why 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 would I play a mod pack if I'm just gonna use all the vanilla stuff so I think and I think I think I'm gonna come back here and replace this floor as well but I think it matches the uh, kind of safari kind of vibe we're going with this is the first time I'm actually gonna be using this and I'm really excited too because now we can finally go up to animals and see what they're called. So this is a giraffe, a reticulated giraffe. In order to tame this guy, we're gonna need to make ungulate kibble. And of course it tells all kinds of stuff about it. So giraffes are the tallest living animals and need to be tall to reach the tender savanna leaves and branches that no other animal can. Even though giraffe necks can be six feet long, they have only seven neck bones, just like any other mammal. Very interesting. And I don't remember if I showed this in the last video or not, but basically, yeah, here he, here he is. Um, this guy you can trade stuff with, so we can actually get ourselves a skunk with these gold coins. And these gold coins come from actually crafting them from gold bars. So I, actually, I think I could do that. Um, if I have... Yes, I have six gold ingots. Um, let me see. I don't want this guy to leave us here, but... I believe if I go ahead and type in gold coin, let's see, gold coin, gold coin, block of gold. That's not quite what we want. Um, let's see, coin. Yeah, here we go, coin. Not too bad, not too bad. So we can just go ahead and craft one of these up right this second. We got five gold coins, and now we can actually buy. Oh, we need fifteen. So do we have enough? Um, uh oh, yeah, we don't have enough. Oh, that sucks. Darn it. Anyway, eventually I'm gonna have a spot for all these guys. I want them all named and put in like a place because as we travel the world, we can we're actually gonna be able to find more of these and catch them just like that. And they literally just go, go in these nets, which is kind of hilarious. But these guys are gonna be really useful for mass producing animals. Um, and now I got 10 gold coins. Uh, of course, I need to go mining again, but. Yeah, I'm just gonna make like a bunch of stone pickaxes because you're, I'm about to show you what this is and it is insane. Let me just make a, a, yeah, an absolute ton of stone pickaxes. And we're gonna drop down all the way down to the bottom of our little mine shaft here. Let's see if I don't die. Looks like I'm okay. All right, okay, and down here, you know, there's lots of stone. Okay, so if I press this button, yeah, I can mine entire ore veins in one go. Look, I just got 13 coal in like two seconds, but I can do it with stone as well. And that's the part that's really crazy. If I, I don't want to, well, maybe I do want to do it here. I want to make sure we can get to our ladder. Where is our ladder? Our ladder's over here. So I think let's, let's just go over a little bit. Yeah, it's a little dangerous because of course there could have been lava right there. That was kind of stupid of me, but basically mining with this now is gonna be kind of a game changer look at that whoa first diamonds instantly yeah no uh <laughs> this is this is gonna be extremely helpful not only for getting resources of course to build with oh god uh let's see not only for getting resources to actually build with but for just kind of speeding this process up because honestly i don't want to spend time grinding in a mod pack where I want to explore and build, you know, and so I think it's going to be really useful and, and, and really nice. Let's see. Yeah, and here we go. We have our first diamonds. Uh, is water gone? All right. And funny thing about it is we can all, oh, what? <laughs> maybe I'll wait till I have an iron pickaxe ready to go for that. Um, and as you can see, that pickaxe broke, but we can use, we can just use these stone pickaxes and it, honestly there's no point in making an iron pickaxe if i can use these stone ones because 
it's instant for me. It, the only reason you don't use stone pickaxes is because um, it takes so long. But this isn't taking long at all. So honestly, it's really worth it to use these. And of course, things like marble and granite and other blocks that I want to build with eventually, I can collect them so much faster now just by doing that. Look at that. This is so great. This is this is a little bit game changing. And wow, I'm dying from hunger. It does it does get rid of a bunch of your saturation and it also does take up a lot of durability from your tools. So another reason why using iron tools is probably not amazing. See like for example, there it didn't do a huge area because the the pickaxe was almost going to break anyway. But all in all, this is going to be amazing for us. And going mining, it's going to be messy, of course, because, Jesus, this is messy. But I, I'm i so excited about it. And it's a little dangerous because of that reason right there. Um, I don't. I need to make sure I, every time I do it, I need to be standing on a block that's not the block that I'm breaking. For example, if I'm standing on this dirt, I won't be able to fall because the dirt won't break because it's not stone. Um... And then, of course, if I wanted to collect dirt, I could use this pickaxe, this shovel, I mean, to collect dirt like that. And I can actually do it with my hand, because dirt doesn't take very long to break. And just collect loads of that stuff. And yeah, no, this is, this is fantastic. This is so cool. <laughs> Vein mine all these diamonds together. We just got four diamonds. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check, guys, check that out. That's a rattlesnake, isn't it? Oh, that's so cool. Oh wait, I want to data book it. Come on. Snake kibble. Oh God. Of course it uses snake kibble, that makes sense. I wonder if we could, oh God, this is not good. This is not good, this is not good. Oh my God, get away. Get away, get away, get away. Okay, I think we're fine. I think it's about time we talk about some of our plans for our zoo. So here is the map of our island and this triangle section you see is going to be like the downtown Disney section. It's going to be like restaurants, uh, places to eat, benches, a lot of stuff like that. And then the circle you see here is going to be the volcano. This is going to be the biggest thing in the entire island. It's going to be huge, an awesome project and I'm really excited. And then all the rest of the stuff, I'm not going to plan this exactly, but it's basically just a bunch of different exhibits lining the island and then this section is going to be the pit the giant pit we're going to dig a huge hole in the center and basically just have a bunch of animals down there exhibits and stuff and then all the rest of these squares that you saw are basically going to be the buildings reptile exhibits aviaries aquariums all those types of things um and yeah i'm excited a bunch of huge projects and i'm honestly excited for every single one but before we get into all that, I think it's about time we do our first exhibit. Episode two, first exhibit. This is gonna be it. This is it right here. I think I think it's gonna be awesome. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna try to just tame one and catch it in a net. So we're ready. I think we just need two, and then we can honestly get to building right away. So I think I'm gonna make sure this is the right one. Careful nail. We just. Wait, it gets rid of it? It got rid of it. And it didn't work. He's not mine. Oh no, I thought I thought that when you right clicked it, it would like not work until it works. And then it, it would, but I only had two of these. This stuff wasn't easy to make. You're joking. Oh. What's going on, dude? This is not good, guys. Should I try again? Oh, yes! Yay! Oh, look at that. What is that? Oh, it's a butterfly. Oh, it's a butterfly. I was just very confused. All right, okay, let's just let's just build this thing.
Okay, so that was a ton of fun, actually. Um, I'm getting beyond excited about this series. Well, here it is, guys. Uh, it's not like 100% finished. Like, I kind of just threw in a bunch of decorations and we got these fences. You can't actually jump over these, which is cool. And yeah, a little pathway around. Um, there's a lot more to do on the outside of this section. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. I got the two trees in. And I think our giraffes are going to be nice and happy. I have a little bit of a an employee entrance for us to get down into here. Um, nothing too special. That's all it is. But uh, I think the only thing we have left to do is, is get their food bowls in. So I think one's going to go here. And then one over maybe up here. And then in these, all we got to do is throw in a bunch of food. I think they eat elderberries. So look at that. It shows up right there. And... As long as these stayed filled, they should be nice and fed, just like that. And then the last thing, um, I still only have one giraffe because uh, making the, the kibble is pretty hard, but next episode I want to have the second giraffe in here and hopefully we can try to breed them and all that. But uh, here we go, here we go guys, ready? I think, I think his name's going to be Brad. Brad, welcome to your new home. Yeah, and then we can make him wander. Have fun, buddy. Have fun. And this is great because now, now once we're on the outside up here, look at that. We can view Brad. Brad's doing great. That's great. And uh, it does drop down here, so you kind of have to like jump up on the rail, but I think that's okay. And Brad has like, you know, spots to kind of get up close to you if you want to. And yeah, it's, I think it's really nice. Um, I'm getting really excited. Uh, if you look on the journey map, you can see like there's the thing that's about the size. So this is a little bit of a big one, I suppose. It, it was a lot, a lot of work, you know, digging it down. But I think there may be bigger ones, and but most will be about this size or smaller. And of course, there's going to be tiny ones for the smaller animals, but yeah, this is one of the bigger animals. Yeah, welcome home, Brad. This is our first exhibit. I'm so excited, but that is all the time I have for today. Um, got a lot of work done, and I think, like, now I'm, I'm fully, like, invested, you know? I, I'm really excited to get all this stuff in here and make a full-on zoo, because this is just a taste, you know? And all the different styles that we can build in, like, for this one, I kind of just went stone stone and zoo and that's about it but i feel like we could go so much crazier obviously it's a little bit early game but once we get a lot more resources and stuff i think we can go really 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 crazy and i'm just beyond excited for that so i hope you guys really enjoyed the video have a good one goodbye and i don't know why but i'm steve see you guys later